The Tarago River is an important river for many native plants and animals, including the Australian grayling, platypus and blackfish. In addition, it provides a source of water for farmers in its lower reaches. The Tarago River has its headwaters in the Tarago State Forest. It then winds its way downstream to join the Bunyip Main Drain and flows into Western Port Bay. The lower reaches were modified and straightened in the 19th century. The upper reaches of the Tarago and Bunyip have high ecological value, providing fantastic vegetation and habitat for waterbugs, supporting native fish such as Australian grayling and blackfish. It is also home to the iconic platypus. Tarago Reservoir was built in 1968 to supply water to Western Port and Mornington Peninsula. The reservoir changed the pattern of the river flow as the majority of water was stored for supply instead of flowing downstream. In 2009, the Tarago River Environmental Entitlement was granted. This is a right to release water from the reservoir to help keep the Tarago River system healthy. This release of water is known as an environmental flow. Melbourne Water works with the Victorian Environmental Water Holder to manage this environmental water. We only make small or medium-sized releases and will not create flood events. So, how do we know what water the animals and plants need to stay healthy? We undertake environmental flow studies to determine the environmental water required to support our native plants and animals. For example, we know that blackfish reside in slow-moving water among submerged logs and debris in forested areas. Low flows are required to maintain their favourite habitat, deep shady pools. Australian grayling are a diadromous fish, which means they need to move between fresh water and the sea to complete their life cycle. The adult fish migrate downstream to the lower reaches of rivers to spawn in autumn during increases in flow. Eggs and larvae are washed out to sea. They spend about four to five months at sea before migrating back upstream into fresh water in spring to complete the life cycle. The platypus is a unique aquatic animal that feeds in the water and relies on smaller flows to provide good habitat and food. We may make a release in the summer to improve water quality and habitat for waterbugs, which are a great food source for the platypus. We monitor the flows in the river, and if the flows do not occur naturally, then a release from the reservoir may be made. So, how do we plan to use the water? Melbourne Water plans and manages the use of environmental water working with the Victorian Environmental Water Holder. The Victorian Environmental Water Holder holds and manages a set volume of environmental water that is used to improve the health of rivers and wetlands across the state, including the Tarago River. We use social media, community bulletins and our webpage to communicate our releases. The river still receives some natural flows, either when the reservoir spills or from rainfall runoff downstream of the reservoir, but these natural flows are not enough. We monitor flows and make releases to mimic a natural event. The Tarago River is starting to return to good health and has improved since our first environmental release in 2011. Uh, the work we're doing in the Tarago and Bunyip River systems aims to understand the flows required to support Australian grayling populations. This information can then be used by Melbourne Water and the Victorian Environmental Water Holder to ensure water is allocated as efficiently and effectively as possible. The Tarago River requires more than just water to be healthy. Other actions include fencing, erosion control and revegetation. You can do your bit when you visit the Tarago. Enjoy and marvel at its range of plants and animals Take your litter home and if you are lucky enough to see a platypus, please let us know via platypusspot.org.